There's a fight brewing tonight over the future of gray wolves in Colorado. New on KRDO News Channel 13 at 6 o'clock, Jay Polk shows us both sides of a story that will affect the future of the species in our state. Meet Luna and Star, a pair of Mexican gray wolves. They're shy, pretty, and endangered. They found a home at the Colorado Wolf and Wildlife Center in Divide. And our primary mission is to give them an extraordinary life because they can never be released back into the wild. Now the question is whether they'll have more company in our state. Colorado Parks and Wildlife says not so fast. So what, what are the other things that we're not thinking of right now? The CPW board decided to pass a resolution opposing the introduction of new wolves into the state. There's more to this story that needs to be uh, flushed out before that becomes an option. Part of the issue is that the wolves are a federally protected species, taking control of their management out of state hands. In a sense, Colorado Parks and Wildlife hands are sort of tied. Organizations like the Colorado Wolf and Wildlife Center here in Divide are some of the most passionate advocates for wolves in the state. They're also some of the most passionate opponents of the Parks and Wildlife decision. Another issue is the habitat of the Mexican gray wolves. There's disagreement on whether they're a native species. If they were in northern New Mexico, there would be no nothing stopping them from crossing because there was there's no fence or boundary uh, into southern Colorado. Even if they're not, Geist feels that Colorado is a good habitat for them. There's not enough room in New Mexico and Arizona for them. We think this is suitable habitat, and we're talking southern Colorado. She says that fears from ranchers of rampaging wolf packs are unfounded. 2014, the top 18 reasons that livestock die, wolves were number 17. Both sides are hoping that a love of these animals can lead to a compromise. The future of the wolves may depend upon it. In Divide, Jay Polk, KRDO News Channel 13. Thanks, Jay. And the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is hoping to have a plan in place for the Mexican gray wolf by 2017.